So when I passed the CSWE, I was 16, right before I went into my junior year of high school. My main motivation for getting the CSWE was I realized how important and useful it was in industry. Um, a previous student who went to the school got the CSWE before me, and he got a job offer while still in school, and it was through that that I realized how important it was and how useful it was in industry. Um, so I decided it would be a very beneficial for me to pursue a program that had opened so many doors for me. Okay, I've been teaching for 34 years now in technology education. I started with graphics for 12 years in an inner city school. Then I worked at a magnet school and taught technology education and then opened this 12 years ago based upon the Cambridge Engineering program. As the program's evolved over the last 12 years, I've seen some remarkable students come in and out of the door here with regard to SolidWorks and CAD CAM type programming. The uh, exceptional students are few and far between, but I've had a few of them, and uh, it seems like it's an every three year cycle. I have had students maybe earlier in the career uh, of the, of the span of the 12 years that were potentially there. So when I first picked Miami Lakes Educational Center as a high school that I wanted to attend, I really didn't know what engineering or SOLIDWORKS was. It was just a bit of a coincidence that I picked this school to attend um, and it just ended up working out for me that I enjoy both engineering in general and SOLIDWORKS as a program to use. When I first uh, was introduced to SOLIDWORKS, it was purely as an educational uh, gain. I needed a software that would help elevate the program that I was going into. This is what I need to help my program elevate. And then it's just blossomed from that point on. But uh, it's really evolved into a real win-win for the students. I don't know, I feel like he just encourages you to pursue as much as you can. He always refers to a skill you have as something in your toolbox. And he, when we got, when I got my SOLIDWORKS certification, he referred to it as one more tool in the toolbox. And along with learning how to run different machines or, running, or learning different programs, he always referred to that as improving yourself. And that's something he's always encouraged us to do was improve ourselves. Initially, when I met Jason in ninth grade, he was very reserved and uh, was very good at whatever he did. However, I didn't know that he was going to become the next SOLIDWORKS expert. But the year that he was in ninth grade, the previous SOLIDWORKS expert was achieved. So it gave him a goal. And him and another one of the students, that's his peer, both told me they're gonna be the next SOLIDWORKS expert. Jason won. I'm sure in 10 years, I'll be incredibly grateful for the opportunities that Mr. Kynard has given us and the school in general, because it's a charter school. They have offered us a lot of opportunities. The best thing I've probably learned is just to improve yourself as much as you can. Always keep adding things to your toolbox, always keep adding skills to yourself, that, and that's something he's definitely instilled in all of the kids in the program. I learned that hard work pays off. I've seen it come to life, and uh, his being an expert has just proven that, because he went out and did his research and uh, was really into achieving this goal, and he did it, and he was very proud and uh, surprised me at the end to tell me that he actually had made it after he got uh, through the certification process. Um, I'd say he's a great motivator. He's always encouraged us to do as much as we can. He's always encouraged us to learn as much as we can, um, try and just improve ourselves, improve ourselves as much as we can, make ourselves as sellable as, as we are. To be honest with you, I'm very sad to see Jason moving on because he saved my so he saved me so many different times with so many different projects. It's the truth, you've been great. But uh, obviously I wish him all the luck in the world and he doesn't depend on luck. And uh, I think that's what's gonna make it successful. He makes his own luck and I'm a firm believer that luck is based upon the decisions you make in life. And uh, I'll be rooting for you.